What is going on everybody? Thank you for joining us and we are excited to get this going. I'm Josh from Spawn Flyfish and today we are going to tie up a little experiment that has been paying dividends for those that try. So we're, we get to see a lot of tuna fishermen here in the shop and this is what a lot of guys are using. And this is what some guys have been using. And we've been having an absorbent amount of success on feathers. So today we're going to be tying up a big old tube fly with a lot of feathers off the back. This is a lot of fun to tie. There's no sure pattern. Um, we're going to be using a lot of brushes from EP because we've been adding a bunch of brushes from EP to the website. But you can do a bunch of different things. Um, these have been the ones that have gone off first on the rods. Um, for those that are trolling these behind the boat for tuna, uh, here in the Pacific Northwest. And tuna, when we say tuna, we mean, we mean specifically albacore. So we are gonna jump into this, really cool. A lot of times as shop owners, we live vicariously through you guys. And a lot of times, uh, like this, we tie up these flies or individuals and they go put them to work. All right, so we got the tube fly attachment tool here. I'm gonna crank that down. This is so that that tube doesn't turn on us here. And you can put this tube fly attachment tool into any vise. We got about two inches of tube. And we won't use the whole thing, but we will use quite a bit of it. So we're going to start throwing on some wraps here. And work our way back. And we're going to leave a little bit of space here. Because we're going to have to put a, a bit of a junction tube on the back of it. Um, so that we can fit a 5 aught or 6 aught trailing hook here. So don't go all the way back because again we're going to need to put over a more pliable tube in the back so that we can connect those two to keep that hook kind of in place. So we're going to work our way forward. And if you can see these, uh, they don't have a lot of flash to them. So this isn't a crazy flash oriented fly. We are going to have a little bit of flash in it, um, but it's not crazy flashy. So. We're going to throw in a little crystal flash here to begin, and that'll be about it for flash. We'll have a little bit um, involved here in the wraps uh, of a brush, but outside of that, not a lot of flash. And they used, they used to make these with feathers. So it was a request that we got in here, and then <clears throat> they took them out on the water, and they clobbered them. So it's always really cool when that happens. Kind of a trial trial and error. Tied some up in different colors, green, blue, white, white and red. And then this plethora of oranges and reds here. And that really seemed to be the ticket, at least this week out on the tuna grounds. I got invited to go out today, but holding it down in the shop. Hopefully sooner than later we'll get to spend more time out there on the water. But for now our time is a little bit limited. We want to continue to get everything out the door and visit with all of you guys that come in the door. So it is early morning Saturday. And we are getting after it. So I got a little shrimp dub brush here from EP. Like I said, we're gonna really uh, showcase some brushes here. This will be one that's coming to spawn. Um, it's not on the website yet. We're just gonna we're gonna create kind of a foundation with these brushes. So throw that on there. It's gonna build up a little bit of a body here.
So, not looking like much, but as you can see, it's going to come to life. Alrighty. You could also use this for sharks. I'm sure it would work great, but that's a lot of feathers. Really unnecessary in all of my shark fishing experience. This would be a real expensive shark fly. You can just use a big old red strip of rabbit and, and you'd be good to go. All right, so the nice thing about this too is um, it's a good introduction to feathers if you just want to go for it and tie big stuff. Uh, don't have to really worry about these feathers being perfect. Like this is going to be trolled at a high speed behind a boat. Um, it's not going to be casted. Um, so this thing is going to be shooting all over the place and we want those feathers kind of wavering back and forth. We'll throw, throw about five red feathers on there. We'll end up using probably 20 feathers or more on this fly, which is always really cool. All right, and then I've, I've been liking to stack them. So I'm going to go red, and then I'm going to work my way uh, in through these colors. So just feel like it gives the most movement. And we're going straight on top with all of these feathers, just right on top. Weaky Bob in here. And then we'll give it that bright orange. This fly is going to have it going on, as you can see. A lot going on here in this fly. Big old tube fly. We are going to, or we, I'm not going to, but the gentleman <clears throat> that used these yesterday and earlier this week coming in for a few more today. So I'm going to have a, uh, hopefully three or four of them tied up. All right, next we are going to use a craft fur brush from EP. These are on our website. We don't have all the colors live yet, but they are on there. So we're going to continue to build the body. So we got a really good tail section here. We're going to build a body and then we're going to add more feathers to this. We do want some profile to this guy. We're going to spend up some of this brush on this too. It's a three inch brush. Let's get one more wrap in there. And this is just another way that uh, we can connect <clears throat> people to the vice here. We constantly kind of push the idea that <clears throat> just because you're not tying a little dry fly or just because you're not using a fly rod doesn't mean that you can't get on the vice. And this is a prime example of that. We want people on the vise. <clears throat> and stuff like this is really fun to tie, frankly. Uh, really, really cool. Alrighty, so I did mention earlier we're gonna use a little flash. This is the Thunderstruck brush from EP. These are all live on our website. I, we do have every color, and we do have some photos coming. It's basically ripple fiber in a brush, so. If you need a nice uniform amount of flash, these are pretty cool. We're not going to go crazy on this. Remember, uh, we don't need it to be crazy flashy. Alrighty. And 
And then the same thing we did on the tail, now we're gonna follow suit here near the head of this fly. <clears throat> and then this thing's hitting the tuna grounds. I think they were going 45 miles offshore today. So we're gonna start using a little bit longer feathers here for this section. We're gonna go a little bit heavier on the number of feathers that we were gonna to use too. And again, just right on top. The cool thing is, the guy that was fishing this yesterday really hard, he's a commercial fisherman. He does this for a living, to feed his family. And he believes in this, which is awesome. <clears throat> Alrighty, we're going big here on the feathers here for, on the camera today. This thing is going to be wild. Alrighty. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we're going to need need a little bit of room here for a spawn head. <clears throat> so now that we got this, we're going to we're only going to do one more set of feathers. What we're going to do here is wrap <clears throat> a few more wraps of this brush that we had here, the crafter brush. So you can see we're building up a bit of a thread head here, which is good. It's going to give a lot of profile for that spawn head to grab onto. <clears throat> and we still have tube here in the front, so we're going to put that spawn head on and then we're going to cut off what's in front. Alrighty here. Get some wraps of this so that it that there isn't a gap below that spawn head, so it really has a full profile to kick those materials behind the head, which is what we're going for here. Alrighty. Yahtzee. Man, that's a squeak today. All right, we are almost done with this thing. And then you are ready <clears throat> to troll this thing behind the boat at full speed and get, get those tuna's attention. Need a few longer feathers, maybe a few bigger feathers here. So we're gonna really sort through this to find what we're after. <clears throat> You could definitely still cast this on a fly rod, but this is just not what its intended purpose is. This is intended to be trolled at speed. Alrighty, that's nice. Sweet. I'm liking that a lot. Lock that into place. <clears throat> Get my scissors back here. <clears throat> and then we will <clears throat> add a couple more wraps here to finish it off. Clean it up a bit. And time for the final piece here. Man, oh man. Alrighty, we can take out the tube fly tool here, slide that out, put it back here in a second. That's what we're working with here. Really, really cool. We'll put the spawn head on, just give it a little test. We like that a lot. I think that looks really good. It's going to have a ton of movement behind that head. It's going to kick all of these feathers like crazy, and those tuna are going to go nuts. So what we're going to do here, 
we're going to add a little bit of liquid fusion off camera here on our spawn head. We're going to slide that on nice and tight. We'll put it back in the in the vise here so you guys can see this. Maybe I'll give it a couple spins if I can get it in there without getting stuck. There we go. And then we'll let this dry and then we'll take a razor blade and we'll clean that up. But there it is. This thing is going to see some tuna this week. It's going to see a lot of tuna this week. Tuna fishing has been really good off the Washington coast. And we cannot wait to get out there. We will be getting out there sooner or later. But until then, we live vicariously through the success that you guys have on our products. And like I said, this is a really cool, unique opportunity to get yourself on the vice and have something a little bit different than what's being used in a lot of cases. So give them something cool to look at. Get yourself on the vice, find some success, or mimic the success that others are having utilizing our products. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and thank you very much.